Hey y'all, hey, I'm Love Piku. This is Love & Real Estate and I'd like to thank you for joining me for today's video, the top 10 mistakes sellers make when preparing their home for sale by way of staging. Number one, too much furniture. If it's bulky or it's extra, meaning not in use and really not necessary in that space, go ahead and put it away in storage. The reason why is that it makes the space look smaller. That's counterproductive to what we're trying to accomplish. So. Make sure you take a good look around and make sure you take everything into storage that is not going to be in use during uh, this, the marketing of your home. Number two is that the home is not clean enough or it's not thoroughly clean. Uh, because you live there every day, there may be certain areas uh, of cleanliness, cleanliness excuse me, that you may have overlooked. Uh, and so what you what would work better for you is that you go ahead and put a few bucks to the side, a few hundred bucks to the side perhaps, and hire a professional cleaning service. They are trained and skilled to make your home sparkle. Let them do it. It'll pay off in the end. And number three is going to be that the home has too much clutter on display. Plain and simply, the buyers are there to view your home and not your personal effects or items. So please go ahead and again, pack everything away that will not be in use. And you're gonna hear me say that continuously and there's a reason why obviously you need to pack it away if it's not going to be in use it's not necessary number four is going to be dark paint colors uh, again here's an area that makes your home look smaller so if nothing else try to ensure that the painting the paint color excuse me that is present uh, or that you may have to uh, modify in some way make sure that it coordinates so that it creates some type of uh, effortless flow or at least semi effortless flow uh, throughout the home that again works in your favor as a seller and number five is going to be personal photos i'm going to summarize this by saying for me it's a safety precaution so you limit my abilities of you know giving you the best marketing and advertising when i'm limited because of my concerns of potentially exposing your um personal say your personal photos uh, meaning identities within your home or family members so on and so forth uh, or it could indicate that you live alone so again it's a safety precaution as far as I'm concerned and I hope that you see it that way as well uh, the next is going to be not a, that there's not enough light um, brighter homes just feel more inviting and we can leave that there number seven is going to be that there's household smells this is a huge one for me. Every home I know develops its own unique fragrance over time, but this is where professional cleaning will help in many cases rid that situation. And if not, I've had situations where sellers have had to, you know, add a fresh coat of paint in not only one room, but, you know, several. But the ideal way to hopefully avoid that is to start with a professional cleaning, which we spoke about um, in the second tip where we talked about the home not being thoroughly clean. That is probably a must have in, in my opinion, uh, even for myself. And uh, it again, it, it pays for itself. Uh, the next is going to be number eight, I believe, and it's pushing uh, the furniture too close to the walls. Again, this is another situation where it creates the illusion of a, it being a smaller space. So in order to turn that around, it's simply recommended that you uh, pull furnishings uh, at least a few inches away from the walls, if at all possible, to create uh, a larger space. As odd as it may sound, it is a fact. All right, now moving on to number nine is going to be your unorganized closets and storage space. The rule of thumb here is going to be that as a seller, you know you're moving. So uh, go ahead and just pack up and storage away half of everything. That's the rule of thumb for my practice, my client, my customers even in sharing that information. And so moving on to the last and the final, uh, topic it's going to be too much on the kitchen cabinets and I've had this back and forth with what's too much let me just say this clear off everything because less is more plain and simple I we can probably sell your home much faster when it when there's less there all right I hope this tip these tips were helpful to you I hope they benefit you and if you have any questions or you need more tips 
I hope that you will not only like, make sure you comment, subscribe, uh, follow, share, contact me. Let me know how I can help you. Let me know if you need a second set of eyes to come over. Uh, let me know if you need to do this virtually. And uh, there's no obligation, no risk here. I'm happy to help you if you're not working with a, a realtor. And uh, I thank you for joining me again. I'm Love Piku. This has been Love and Real Estate. Top 10 seller mistakes made during the uh, preparation of placing the home on the market, staging it for sale. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video.